The Hopkinton Youth Commission hosted a wide array of Martin Luther King Day activities, including American Red Cross Blood Drive, writing letters and designing books for troops serving overseas, blanket and mitten design for charitable causes, and much more. A number of Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, as well as the Hopkinton High School Student Council participated. HCAM News was on the scene. We were making pop, uh, any mittens. Well, we were making mittens for koalas whose paws got burnt in them forest fires because they were trying to hold on to the trees, but the trees were burning. Yeah. So, but they didn't want to go down because they knew the biggest predator, the dingoes, would be after them. But the dingoes ran away, but they still didn't know to get down from the trees. Well, those are nice movies. Yeah. How long did it take you to make them? Um, not, not very long. long. We just um, we just got a piece of thread and sewed uh, them together, two pieces of um, fabric, and then we were done. One of them was tried on my sister to um, see if they fit. And, and my they sister's hand is like that big. So, so they fit her. Yeah. So she can wear them all the time? I I don't think so. I yeah. don't think that, that, that they'll be very helpful for her. Yeah, because <laughs> they don't have the fingers. Um, yeah, but before she needs, they like, put the out fingers. the mittens, they need four for each koala because um, they hold on with their feet and their hands. So it takes four for just one koala, so we had to make a lot. Are they warm? Yeah, they're not the really supposed like to be. Uh, they're not really supposed to be wool, but they, they are just the made for production. Yeah. Yeah. So they won't hold the paws when they walk on them. Yeah, because like Australia is like really hot, like and all year long. It'll keep the paws clean while the cup heals. We're making a bunch of coloring books for um, children at different children's hospitals, like the Metro West Birmingham Hospital and the Boston Children's Hospital. Uh, we printed out a bunch of different uh, types, like princesses and different, like, I think there's like Egyptian characters and just stuff like that. And then everyone can pick a variety of things, like mazes or something to focus on, and then they get to design the cover and then, yeah, just uh, ship it off to the hospital. Yeah, it was really busy. We actually did blankets, too, for about the first hour, and I think we made, was it, what was it, like 50 blankets or something? Um, yeah, like 30, 30, 30, yeah. So we made lots of blankets, too, and now we're doing this as our second project, so I think we had over 70 volunteers here today, all from NHS. We definitely encourage people to do their own service activities, which is one of the pillars of NHS. And we probably will have another group project like this in the future as well. Making bookmarks, Valentine's hearts for the senior citizens, and we are also making bracelets for the senior center. I made one. We made a lot of Valentine's. Yeah. We made many Valentine's. We made very many Valentine's. So Valentine's were the most popular. Yes. They were the most fun to make too, I think. <laughs> <laughs>